Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to give you a review on the 17 flawless foundation, photo flawless foundation that I received recently. I've been wearing it for the entire week to work, to going food shopping, whatever, to really test drive it. Um, I have to say before I go into the review, uh, I have oily skin, oily to a combination to oily skin, so I've got quite a oily t-zone and then I have dry patches around my cheek but I also have impurities and unevenness. Um, this this foundation gives you medium, medium coverage. Uh, unfortunately, this shade is actually not a match for me, unfortunately, but I've been bold and just wore it anyways because it's just, I'd say it's about a shade and a half darker than my actual skin tone, so it quite worked as a tan if I blended it correctly. I used it with a, a, fond a flat foundation brush and a buffing brush. Um, like a stippling brush, both of them work really, really well. It uh, sets quite nicely. It has, it's not a full matte finish, but it, it is between matte and satin finish. So I quite like that because matte is just too flat, but dewy is just for me pointless because I will just end up using it looking like a disco ball, a shiny disco ball within two hours. Um, so I like the finish, I like the coverage, I like. Um, how long it wears, for me it wore quite long considering that it is, um, you know, it's it's just a drugstore band. Um, normally I expect, I expect more, I expect, sorry, I expect less from a drugstore slash high street brand compared to like say um, Makeup Forever or a NARS or MAC sort of thing um, or Estee Lauder or whatever. But this actually really, really surprised me. I'm really happy that I got to try this product. And I think if you wanted to have a medium coverage foundation that has a finish between sort of matte and satin and you want to save some bucks as well, definitely go get this. Unfortunately, I think um, these are only available at Boots and that's only available in the UK. Um, but I'm sure there's other drugstore brands like... Um, for example, the True Match Foundation by L'Oreal, the liquid version, is quite good as well. Or the Revlon Colorstay is quite well. But this is not as heavy as the Colorstay one, and it's not as liquid, as thin as the True Match. It's just, I think it's just the right amount of thickness for me, for my liking. So I'm really glad that I tried it. I'm really glad that uh, it's available in the UK, that it's cheap. I'm going to include the price and in the info box below but uh, it's definitely around it's definitely ten, less than 10 pounds which is always a win and um yeah i think you can even order it online um at, at Boot, on boots website so yeah um i hope you get to try the foundation if you haven't already uh please do let me know what you think and i will see you soon bye